Hello friends, welcome to channel Techwind, most of you have asked me, to explain the procedure to configure EG8141A5, so that, you will be able to access the voice calls or VOIP calls through SIP apps like Zoeper, GS Wave etc. It looks complicated, but it's a simple procedure if you understand. Open a browser. Enter the IP of your ONU and log in with the login credentials. For login password. In normal configuration you can see this video once you log in, you can see the home page looks like this. The status shows abnormal because I haven't plugged the fiber. Go to advanced and then WAN. You can see the WAN configurations, for both internet and voice of the modem is already configured. To allow SIP calling through apps, you have to do minor changes to the WAN. You have to change. The service type from VOIP to VOIP Internet. You can't change it in an already configured one. So delete it, and select new. Now. Enter the service type as VOIP Internet. Also, give the VLAN ID in IP acquisition modes according to the data received from ISP. It may be static for old customers and DHCP for others. An important thing is, do not bind any of the ports viz. LAN1, LAN2, LAN3, LAN4, SSID etc. to any of the WAN connections. Since you have to use the SIP service through the internet, binding it to any WAN will not allow the other WAN to access the port after WAN, make sure this layer 2 thirds port configuration is enabled for 4 LAN ports. Else you won't be able to access the internet through LAN ports. A detailed info of it will be seen in this video in the card. The next. Procedure is to add a static root to the modem. For that, go to root, IPv4 static root. Select new. Here the address format is IP this place requires a little knowledge, which I will be sharing in a netlink slash sharp modem so that it will be easy to grasp. For blind configuration, the IP address is the first digit set of your SIP server which you enter in configuring the VOIP feature. Let's say, if your SIP server is 10.187.6.12, the IP you need to enter here is 10.0.0.0, if it's 72.123.12.6, the IP is 72.0.0.0, the reason is that any site or app that intends to connect to the SIP server, through internet directly goes through the internet one, and fails, because internet server does not access SIP server. To overcome this, we are rooting the app, that tries to connect to the SIP server to the voice one. The subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 The next is the gateway. To find the gateway, go to System Information, WAN, there under Voice WAN, you can see the unique gateway for your connection. Copy it and enter here. Select the VOIP WAN, in WAN name. I've simply entered 192.168.1.1, don't enter this value. Now, click Apply. You can go to Root, IPv4 Routing Table to see the Root Info. I've skipped it. I'll explain about it with the Netlink ONU. Now, you can open any SIP app and configure it. You'll be able to access the voice calls through them. Thanks for watching, if like the video click on the like button, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.